I noticed when Harmeet was doing her section that she did something that was that is really common when people are first starting to learn this uh, curling technique. And if you see at the, the section behind it here, what she's done is um, she's put a clamp mark onto the section of the hair. And that's exactly one of the things that we want to try to avoid because it's very obvious. And uh, so she had done it at the front section here, and that's the one we want to try to make sure we avoid putting any clamp marks of any kind. So, I mean, why don't you show me how you first uh, uh, did your, your curling technique? So she puts the iron at the bottom of the section, and then she closed the clamp, and then she started curling. So why don't you show again just the beginning part, how you started it out. She put her iron at the base of the section, and she closed her clamp. And then she started opening the clamp up and curling. So that's how she managed to get that clamp mark. Now, there's a really easy way to avoid doing this, and she's going to show you now what she does, how we just changed her technique ever so slightly so she doesn't get that clamp mark. She opens the iron, places it onto the base of the hair, holds it for a couple seconds, then she turns the hair around the barrel once, and then she starts feeding the rest of the hair onto the iron. Why don't you do that again, just so they can see it a little bit slower. Okay, so she opens the iron. She'll hold the clamp open, hold the iron just at the base of the section for a couple seconds. Then she'll turn the hair around the barrel. Then she turns the barrel and closes the clamp once the barrel is at kind of the back of the section. So only closes the clamp once she has done a little bit of a quarter turn and she had fed a little bit of the hair section over top of it. And that way you can avoid getting that clamp mark. Right, perfect. Now keep in mind that if you've already put a clamp mark in the hair by accident, the only way to really get rid of it, as you can see here, it, the doing the technique over top of an existing, uh, doing a, a good technique over top an existing kind of clamp mark on a section is not going to be effective enough to get rid of the clamp mark. So what you would have to do at this point is dampen the hair, blow dry it, and do it again which I wouldn't bother doing for a section back here so much, but any section that has a clamp mark around the face, I would. All right, thanks. All right, so what we can do now after we've set the clamp